And I don't think he got in. And what a second. Oh, they say he did. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad I'm wrong. Indiana wins it. Listen to the lack of enthusiasm from the Indiana call on Learfield IMG College, the radio, the stunning finale of that game on Saturday that was one of the most entertaining. Well, this is one of the better football weekends in general that we've seen in a long time, and that was obviously the apex of the college football weekend was Indiana shocking Penn State in a game that was shocking from top to bottom, and I will tell you right now exactly what I thought of the ending. I will make this my straight talk brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless. I do not believe that kid touched the pylon before the ball touched down. I do not. I do not think the two-point conversion should have been good. I think Penn State should have won that game by one point in overtime. But as I told you in my tease, I'm not going to yell and scream about it because Penn State didn't deserve to win the game anyway. That is an inexcusable mistake that they make on offense at the end of regulation. When a running back doesn't know, and later the coach took the blame for it as well he should, and I like James Franklin, he gets a lot of criticism for clock management, and it'll never be louder or more justifiable than in this case. But apparently, the kid was uncertain as to whether he should score or not. You saw the situation. No timeouts left. All they have to do is get a first down, sit down, and they can run out the clock. But instead, he goes into the end zone. The only way Penn State could have lost that game was by scoring a touchdown there, and that is what they did. And then overtime was insane. Penn State winds up scoring. Indiana does two and goes for the two. And then that play happens. Now, I will tell you that I have for the longest time said that I believe instant replay should only overturn egregious errors. And that one was certainly not egregious. I do not think that the ball touches the pylon before it touches the ground. So in my particular opinion, I did not think that it should have counted. And clearly, if the initial ruling had been that he did not get it, get the two-point conversion, then there's no way they would have overturned it. And so I can't even argue they should have overturned it under these circumstances because it violates the Greeny one-look rule. If you need a second look, the call stands. That's my rule, and I'll stand by it. But I'd be a lot more inclined to fight against it if it hadn't been for Penn State making the one mistake they couldn't make at the end of regulation. That's a brutal loss, and it'll cost them any chance of playing for college football's national championship. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.